In fact, with the amount of fuel we have, we could go to Duna and back. However, that's not where we're going for here. What, uh, the goal, the idea, is to get that orbit, get that mission complete, which is really, really nice, and then land the rover. The rover's not coming back. The rover's going to stay there. And I've noticed that it's pretty good to have... Whoops, too much. <laughs> Wrong button. Uh, to have a rover on or at least an orbital station around most of the bodies within the Kerbal system, because that way when you get missions that are like, take a uh, soil sample or you know measure the gravity or the temperature, then you could do that with those stations and or rover or whatever, and be able to finish those missions pretty easily. So there is some benefit to doing that. Now, the story implications for what's going on here is this mission was already planned for quite some time. We've been planning it since we went to Minmus to go to Duna in some way. We probably were going to send the Magnus rover, but we learned from that mistake. The Magnus rover was a really, really good rover. It's just it needed uh, some refining. And for a planet that takes a very, very long time to get to, Duna, right? We're going to make sure that we have a rover that can do the job that we need it to do, which is mostly to survive just survive in that environment until we can get a bigger mission to go there and then send crew down and maybe fix it up add more parts to it if we need to stuff like that and maybe you know start setting up bases one of the missions that i've been getting a lot of is like set up a functional base on the moon set up a functional base on minmus set up an orbital station around minmus and that gives you a lot of money so we're probably going to start doing stuff with that uh, as well now this while it's kind of a wonky orbit it'll it'll work so i have to do the oh, just, this thing looks so cool i really do like it i have to do the arduous task of setting up my transfer orbit to duna so i'm going to do that right now so set this target and now the fun part so i had to speed up quite a bit we were like off over here in our orbit and uh this was pretty much the best transfer window that we had so we're doing this, and it looks like it'll be pretty good. I like guess, you know, if you really want to see what our orbit's doing, it's just kind of going off that direction, basically. We don't actually have to burn for very long, but we're going to come in pretty good. I got a really good approach there. Uh, it's, it's knowing the transfer windows really helps. I'm not very good at it, but I happen to have gotten pretty lucky with this one. That's going to put us a little closer than we want to. So once we start getting close enough you know like out out over here on my orbit i'm gonna try to adjust it enough that my orbit that i want to make for the mission is close enough and then that way i can kind of adjust it and get it get it where i want it to be right so that should uh, that should work fairly well i'm not too concerned about that the one thing i am concerned about as we're making this burn is if you see in here Maybe. Let me turn on my lights before I go in. So I have like this structure around the the rover itself, which is kind of holding it in place. The one thing I'm concerned about is I don't want it to knock against the rover when I detach it. It has a detach has a couple detachment points. One is right here and the other is down there. So this will detach first, get us away from this booster as we're going into the atmosphere. And then this will detach and get us away from this, hopefully. I don't want this knocking around on me. So we're we're hoping for the best there. But for the most part it's it probably should have been tested beforehand. But it hasn't been. So we're yeah. We're hoping for the best. Wow, once that line starts going, it starts going quick. It just like popped out of nowhere and just like started going, which is crazy. But I like seeing that. It makes me makes me happy because you're like, oh wow, look at that. Uh, look at that maneuver we're making. It's still miraculous to me. This game blows me away every time I play it because doing maneuvers like this is just really really cool. Just to think, you know, NASA does this on a fairly regular basis. And, you know, sort of other space agencies, not just NASA, I guess. I mean, SpaceX, for one, just launched their first, uh, like, deep space mission. So that's pretty good. And boom. 
Nice. So we remove that. We're going to just quick save in case anything goes wrong. You never know. As that does that. Perfect. Okay. Cool. That's all looking very, very good. That's much further away than what I wanted it to be. Let's look at this mission, right? So this mission is... Uh, it's designated. So what's designated? So about 3 million and 2 million apoapsis. And it's got a weird degrees going on. It's 74 million. So we can get uh, a little bit closer there. And we're probably going to have to completely change the angle anyway. So I'm not too concerned. I just want to get close enough to it. All right. So at about here is when we'll slow down a bit. And just kind of like what we did previously. And if you get closer, you realize how far away those two um, closest approach things are. So let's... Okay. Why is... I don't want to see that mission. I don't want to see that mission. There's only one mission I want to see. It's this one. Okay. So we're going to go like this. We're just going to tweak my orbit until I get something that I'm happy with. So here's the thing. I just realized that I had this mission that actually, not going to lie, uh, expired. I had 75 days left. So I'm, I quick saved in the middle of my maneuver getting to do it. Like I'm halfway there in my orbit, right? I'll show you what I mean in a second here. And then this, this went and, uh, yeah, it declined itself randomly. So it's because of the 75 days left on it. But it took all of my money. So I need to make sure I got to get this complete first. So before we can even get this sucker onto Duna and get that other mission complete, we got to complete this other one. Like, I don't, I don't even understand what's going on here. So... This is where it's at right now. The Rumbler Rover. The thing was like way over here. It's got a ways to go, right? So let's let's fly this thing. I'll show you what I mean. It has a lot of time, at least, uh, you know, like a week of time before it gets to the position where we need to do something with it. So that is how long away that is. That's uh, about 128 days. So we have plenty of time to mess with that. So we're, we're gonna leave the Rumbler where it's at right now. And instead I'm gonna go back to the Space Center and I'm gonna go and get this other mission done. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I just, I, I didn't even realize that I had it. I may have taken it like long ago and just haven't looked at it in quite some time, which actually made me look at all my other stuff that I have, you know, Plant Flag on the Moon has eight years left, perfect. Uh, this one has 22 years left, perfect. Even though I'm about to complete it anyways. So this one kind of kind of sucks that we have to do it. So what is it? It is the Saber M engine in flight over Kerbin, and it has to be at the altitude of twenty three thousand to twenty seven thousand, and going a speed of two sixty to six sixty. That's not too bad. But which engine is the Saber M? Um, there's actually a way to do this with a rocket instead of an aircraft as well which is something that we may consider doing here. So let's figure out what the Saber M is and uh, we'll create a rocket around it and we'll just go test it so we can get rid of this stupid thing. So let's see here, uh, engines, Saber M. Okay, so it's the big one. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, so what, what are we gonna do? Well, let's just do like, a, like a, this, right? And then we'll do, uh, probably some control so I'll throw this on and then we'll just make something for this to actually work with so this is what I've created we'll we'll see if it works uh, it should by all means work so we'll um, we'll launch this sucker basically my idea is just to get the speed going right we just need that that speed to get up to 22 or whatever it was 22,000 and then um, we'll go from there. So we also have landing legs. We want to recover this because it is pretty expensive to make, let's be honest. So this is going to be flying at 23,000 to 27,000 between 260 and 660. So we should just um, launch, raise our gear. And we could just go straight up. We don't really need any weird gravity turns going on. Uh, I'm just going to try to keep this as stable as possible. So I'm going to Reduce my speed, so that way we're gaining, right? We want to be just above 260 if at all possible. We don't want to be going too much quicker than that. 
So that's 260. We'll reduce our speed. We, it's weird that the ground back there gets all jaggedy. Whatever, I'm not too concerned. Let's look this way, it's way prettier. So that's going at 300, so we're still gaining. We want to bring that down a bit. Oh, geez, I'm almost out of fuel. Push it all the way up. I don't think that's going to be enough. Dang, I think I'll need more fuel in order to do this. All right, let's try this again. I added more fuel and I set it today. Gear up. So it's showing that I have less because I, I took the fuel and the oxidizer out of that middle one. We just need enough fuel for that to do its thing, right? In order to, to launch the middle engine there. Okay, so once again, we're doing 260. So we're at that now. Wanna get a bit faster than that, maybe. Maybe 400. Let's do 400. 400's a good medium. Plus it'll finish the mission quicker. And we just need to be at 23,000. So 400, okay, cool. We'll just pull down our engines. We should have plenty of fuel at this point because we're burning less. I can't wait for the new aerodynamics to come in. I know we've mentioned that before, but I think that it's gonna really affect some of these weird crafts that I'm making. Like, I don't know if this thing would actually fly, but it's, it's fun nonetheless. We're at 15,000, we're going almost 500,000 meters a sec, or 500 meters a sec, 500,000 meters a sec. Jeez, we'd be hauling butt. That would be incredible. But at this point, no, we're, we're, we're not. So we're there, are we? 23, okay, cut. Boom, got it. And we don't need it to go anywhere. We just need this now to slow down. And wow, we just got so much money for completing that. A lot. Uh, we're at 832,000 after our launch to Duna. So that's pretty good. Plus we're about to get another 400,000 for doing the, the Duna mission too. So perfect, perfect, I'm loving it. Cool, that's doing its thing. This will eventually slow down. So we may be able just to, oh yeah, yeah, whatever. And it's gonna gently bring us back to Gerben. Despite being like uber sped up here, you know, I've got a physics thing going. It's staying fairly, fairly steady. Okay, uh, should I hit the, no, I'm gonna wait for the parachutes. I'm just gonna wait because I, I, otherwise I'm gonna be floating for a very long time getting down. Okay, now it's parachute time. Boom. Quit, quit your spinning. Quit, quit it, quit it. Stop, stop it, stop. <laughs> no, not the other way either. No, not that way either. No, just, I'm just gonna have to, be gentle. Just don't break apart. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Yeah. You know what? Let's get our gears going. Where are we gonna land? Are we gonna land on a building? No, we're good. Good. <laughs> uh, because that would have been terrible. And we might be going way too fast. It might just explode right here. Don't, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't you it's going to. It's going to rip itself apart. No. No, no, no. No! <laughs> well, I mean, good effort, right? If this survives. Nope. <laughs> it's cool. We're good. We got the mission done. I don't even care. I don't know about that uh, debris, though. We're going to have to... Uh deal with that eventually okay uh well, i don't want to revert get out of here space center boom we're living with the consequences of not building that properly it just it was going in too fast that's fine now it's time to get back uh over to our duna mission now that we actually have yeah that's done perfect and what are, what money are we at now Eight hundred thirty-two thousand. loving it <laughs>